Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! Oh gosh, sorry, I just bashed your heads into the ceiling. That is not what I intended to do. I am just so excited. <gasps> Look at the fossils on the ceiling. They are so pretty. You know, I might leave the one that actually looks like a T-Rex skull up there for decorative purposes. But speaking of decorative purposes and really amazing, exciting things, I have so many ideas. You guys, I am so thrilled. I think, I think... I think the zoo crafting magic is beginning to slowly take root and blossom within my heart once more because my every waking and sleeping moment is beginning to be consumed by thoughts of the gardens of Babylon. Uh, yes, probably because my every moment is consumed by puns, but hey, still! <laughs> Seriously, again, no pun intended, or was it? Oh. Uh, I have actually been thinking about so many of the builds that I want to be doing here in our beautiful home, and it actually is all inspired and kind of begins with this fine little establishment. What began as just a, a newly discovered hidden ruin to store some of my excess pretty, pretty gemstones and different- Ooh, there's that limestone, I need this, yes! I'm so glad we have that limestone here. But what began as just a way to like store my stuff is pretty rapidly turning into a entire zoo project. I am so freaking excited. So you know how I was gonna have just this one little section of uh, the gardens of Babylon? Well, the more I thought about it, the more I was like, okay, great, we have this storage area. I definitely want to set up a little shrine to Sylph, maybe a little shrine to uh, the Tree of Light. I want to have a comfortable area for Graveler to be able to relax, maybe a fountain. Definitely tons and tons and tons of plants hanging from the ceiling. But then I started to think, okay, so what if this was not the only garden of Babylon. After all, we do love goats around these parts, and my villager son, Junior, happens to love them quite a bit. And the more goats we have, what if we had a different goat guardian for each ancient ruin of Babylon? And what if those ruins were not just one place, but what if those ruins inhabited the entire expanse of our jungle exhibits? Think of it, my friends! Instead of just having one little adorable spot where we have the gardens of Babylon, what if we end up setting out through the entire jungle multiple little, uh, almost like square pyramid ruins that we could build kind of in a mimic Garden of Babylon way, but also so that it could hold one exhibit each. So we would have like a guardian goat over each of the little pyramid exhibits, and we would also set it up so that that say one of them could be full of butterflies. You could walk through a door of vines and enter a beautiful temple full of butterflies. What if you walk into another one and you discover a refreshing drink stand? You walk into another and you find an information chamber about uh, ancient civilizations of Central and South America and maybe all over the place. I think that that would be so much fun. It would give us an excuse to adopt more goats and it would mean that we would have all of these adorable little ruins that I can cover in plants and waterfalls and everything adorable and maybe each one could have uh, different gemstones lining it and that would just be so freaking cool oh, so I am very very excited about that <gasps> oh my freaking gosh Henry no how can this happen how could this happen? No, I was telling everyone about the Gardens of Babylon. We were going to have an exciting day of building up the jungle. Tata, Lala, how could you let little Henry II down like this? He just got a new sibling, not like two shakes of Mises cookie chicken tail ago. Oh, Sunflower, hi. What are you doing up in that tree? Oh, and the sunset's beautiful today, but oh my gosh. I'm kind of devastated. What? Our tiny little snail, our tiny little orange snail that that we called, well, he was a slug. Henry II has drowned. I am really sad about that. He was a relic from the old world. What a what am I going to do? I'm going to 
I'm gonna get a new slug. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, guys. Change of plans. Apparently, Tata the trickster god has been a little too involved with what's been going on in my yard, but we are not going to let that get us down. I think Henry II was just a little bit too zip quick for a, a little slug, unfortunately. And um, we're, we're gonna need to get Henry III, Astro Seed. I mean, I would like to turn back time. If there was anything left of him, <gasps> there is something left of him! Oh my gosh, Henry II! It's a slime ball aster seed. Is there some way to clone him? I don't think, I don't know. Oh no, and now I'm really hungry. <gasps> but we have PB and J's. We could trade more PB and J's to Ben, the young boy who lives in the mountain near my home and loves to collect insect eggs. And I could get a Henry the third, especially cause a uh, small potato is a very tiny. Oh, hey, there's the, the firefly though. That's pretty. Aw, man, you know, I really should go ahead and get some fireflies from Twilight Forest because it's been a long time since I've been there. And it would be, oh, it would be so cool to have more fireflies and glowworms decorating the inside of our gardens of Babylon. Oh, that would be amazing. But we, oh, hey, there's small potato. Oh, small potato, you're safe. I guess if you guys stay on this side, you're okay. Small potato, try not to go too far into the lands of the chickens, but don't wander down by the river of Tata, -ta, the trickster god, because terrible things may befall you. Uh, but all right, I need to get some food really quickly. So let me go ahead and wiggle into the kitchen. Um, hey, darling. Oh gosh, we're out of cake. I need to make some more cake at some point. Uh, all right, how about an apple sandwich, egg sandwich, vegan egg, vegan eggs sandwich, uh, raspberry trifle. I want to eat my sorrows away. We're going to go with the raspberry trifle. <laughs> oh, this is almost as sad as when Cat Moth died just a short while ago, too. But let's go see if we can do anything with this slime. I don't think we can. I, I really don't think, unfortunately, the limits of science may have been reached, my friends. Oh boy. All right, well, I mean, you never know. Sometimes when I come into my cloning laboratory, uh, oh, hey, an unidentified egg. Hey, maybe I can hatch that to like end my sorrows too. This is a very sad day after all. Um, let's see. Can the slime ball, can it be analyzed? Lab chickens, can we do anything for Henry II? Oh, I almost feel like I, I hear like a funeral bell going off. Oh, Henry II, no! <sighs> but I suppose, what a dramatic six minutes I've had of my life. One second, being so excited, sharing my ideas of gardens and temples with all of you, and now having to deal with the facts of life. But we are a living world. We are a living zoo. There will be times of joy in which we can welcome the birth of new creatures, and there will be times of sorrow in which we must, unfortunately, say goodbye to old friends. And in this case, it seems that Henry II has left us, my friends. <sighs> I, I don't know. Should I make a graveyard? I'm kind of tempted to, like, make a... Instead of a graveyard, you know how they have... Like, this used to be a dino chamber? It's a whole dinos, but it's very pretty in here, right? So I kind of want to build a room like this, if not just go ahead and repurpose this room. And then into the walls, I, I kind of want to make a spot to put like little chests and they could act as urns, urns for the deceased. And, and we could have, uh, you know, like a little book, a chest where it would have a little book. It would have some notes. It might have whatever remains. We could put flowers. We could decorate like with little like vases down below. I kind of love that idea. Um, oh, geez, Louise. <laughs> yeah, this is when peanut butter and apple jelly ended up having a lot of babies. I think we, we need to release them at some point, but I kind of like that idea a lot, actually. I could build a new room for this. But this room is just so nice, but it is kind of close and it is kind of morbid uh, to like have <laughs> a window staring into what would basically be our crypt. That's what they call those places. Uh, gosh, I kind of do want to build a little crypt now that would just sort of, uh, should it be in the lab? Should it be one one down? Gosh, okay. That may, that may have to be 
That may have to be a new task. I need like a new task manager thingy. Uh, clipboard for squirrel status. Lost quest list. Um, hmm. Hmm. Henry the second, what am I gonna do with, well, okay, okay. Let's start at the beginning. So, oh geez. Oh, Calberry, you startled me. Calberry, you've already begun to clone yourself too? What is happening in this lab? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um, wow. Okay, Calberry? Are you, oh. you guys, you cloned Calberry. I guess Calberry actually, that's very fitting because Calberry helped us to clone Bob the uh, second version 4.1 and 4.2. And now there's two Calberries. I did not do this. I have literally no idea why we have such a cloning issue in my world. We have always had a cloning issue in my world. Sometimes I think I just may be a clone of myself. Maybe that's how I get so many things done. Hmm? Hmm? Uh, but there's always more to do in the zoo. So honestly, it would be kind of cool if I could clone myself. But all right, where to deal with my sorrow first? Okay, first things first. I do think that having some sort of uh, peaceful, private family urn room as morbid as that sounds, may be a very nice thing. I kind of want it not to be in the lab, um, even though this is like a really easy to reach location. I kind of want to dig down a little bit and maybe we could have it be just like a nice peaceful place down slightly, but it's going to be a little bit before I can do that. So for now, specialty Zudesia swag. Well, I mean, he was special, that's for sure. For now, here's Bob's backup wool. We'll have to leave Henry here. Let me go ahead and get a piece of paper so that I can I can note. By the way, this is Henry. <laughs> Remember that, Siri, so you don't do something like make some, some sort of a tool out of that slime. I would feel really bad if I like, ouch. I would also feel bad if I fell down. Uh, but I would feel really bad if I, like, accidentally used that slime and was like, oh no, that was Henry! Alright, do I have a book and quill? Okay, I need to make some more books and quills. And we'll leave a couple books and quills down there. I have plenty of feathers with which- and plenty of ink sacks and ink wells with which to do that, actually. Uh, and we can make leather out of a whole bunch of things, but alright. I like this idea. Martha? Uh, how you doing today? Yes, I know. I need to work on the whole paper situation. I'm sorry, Martha. I'm sorry. I'll be back. Run for it. Oh, oh. I am so sad. I should go get I should go get something that reminds me of Henry. What do I think of when I think of Henry? Oh, I need to make the book and quill. I was I was just ready to go. All right, book and quill. So, uh that means book first. Uh, which means a lot more paper than I grabbed, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and just make this first. Because it's, um, as morbid as this sounds, a little bit reusable, but I could also... Okay, here we go. Henry the second. There we are. This is the, um... This is the, the, the obituary that we are writing for Henry II. What a terrible way to start off our day, my friends, but the cycle of life does continue in this zoo. <sighs> so Henry II, a small orange slug who had no idea that his appearance in the garden would spark such a surge of passion, uh, love, and memories among the many citizens and, uh, watchers of Zudasia. Let's see, what can we say about him? He was a speedy slug. Shockingly fast, despite his sluggishness, you could say. Oh, Siri, you shouldn't make that many puns in an obituary, but here we are. Um, truly, although it could be difficult to tell, he did have a very inquisitive oh the villagers are oh sounds like the villagers are busy cooing over my dogs in zombie village inquisitive uh personality gosh i love seeing how our world is alive like that he did have a very inquisitive personality there and was constantly searching new sections of the garden for new snacks 
Alas, one day, perhaps tempted by Tata the Peafowl, uh, the trickster god, and it looks like the the god of server is watching over us and saving the world right now. Don't mind that, guys. Also, one day, perhaps tempted by Tata the Peafowl, uh, the trickster god, uh, the trickster god manifest in Zudasia. Ah, oh, manifest. That's a good fancy word to use. <sighs> Henry wandered too far and drowned. Drowned? Drowned. Who knows when we will see this brave young slug again. But until uh, then... Oh dear, I'm running out of steam for a good obituary. But until then... We will always remember you, Henry. There we go. Rip Henry the <sighs> second. So sad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> ah, okay. Oh my gosh. I really loved that slug. I kept him away from salt. I let him eat whatever he wanted in my garden. What should I? I'm gonna get him some lettuce some fresh plucked lettuce I, I would get him a flower but I think some fresh plucked lettuce <gasps> small potato little one you must be careful come this way come this way you you need to stay more in the in the section of peace and prosperity over yonder okay stay there oh all right he was wandering too close if we lose any more of our precious little uh, bugs to the river then i think i may finally put a fence around it and then we never have to worry about anything wandering in our yard again uh oh fresh plucked lettuce huh. small potato gave me a fright all right well let's go ahead here we are two leaves of fresh plucked lettuce i shall eat one in henry's honor and i shall take the other down to henry darling oh darling it's terrible it's terrible, but I'll tell you about it later. Gosh. Oh, tears in my eyes. <sighs> well, I mean, on the plus side, this does feel like, in a way, you cannot have a, you cannot have something new in life with sometimes saying goodbye to something old. If we are going to admit that Zudesia is an ever-growing and organic world with cloning cowberries and, uh, you know... Uh, the birth of new animals, we also have to know when to say goodbye. And I guess this is, unfortunately, for now. Goodbye, Henry. One day, hopefully not too soon, we'll dig ourselves out. Uh, maybe maybe not even here at the house? Maybe at the house. I'm not sure where I'd want to really put such a thing. But one day... We will make ourselves a, a little crypt, and we will transfer Henry's specialty Zeus Wag remains there. <sighs> but until then, I think that next time, I have many PB and J sandwiches to create. And before we can carry on with the epic building of the Gardens of Babylon, I must restore the joy of having a slug in my garden. So I will see you guys next time when we will go up to the kitchen. We will make many a delicious sandwich. We may even visit my villager son, Junior, just to kind of perk our spirits up. And we shall bring new life here to Zudesia in the form of hopefully another adorable orange slug. So all right, there's hope yet. So thank you guys so much. If you could leave, leave a light, leave a comment with a little, 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 you know, candle for Henry. And, and and let me know what you think we should we should do about the whole slug situation. <sighs> They're really fascinating creatures. But all right. So, I'll see you guys next time and until then guys, stay curious. Bye-bye.